winning two games to nothing. They now have to match up against Sink Esports. Sink Esports, the other big team here, obviously, in the Pro League. You really got the top two teams, and then the team's under for now. I mean, we'll see how that, that goes throughout the season for sure, and maybe if that changes. But no doubt that that's what the mindset is right now as far as where the competitive scene is at. So uh, they looked solid against BMG in the first game. Second game was uh, well, not so much. And we'll see, you know, how that kind of leads into the second game, second series now here against Sink Esports. With that said, though, best out, th best out of three ahead of us here, game number one. I got another co-caster here today for the second series. I got the one and only my nuts going to be joining me. How's it going, man? It's fine, thanks. What you? I'm doing good as always. Good, good to be here. Good to be here. So, I don't know. Were you watching the first series by chance, or were you doing other? Uh, part of it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Again, to say the least, like I said, the first game they, they competed fairly well. The second game, it was a little bit out drafting and whatnot. Uh, in the end, didn't work out as well. So, <laughs> kind of wonder what their mindset is coming into this one. But no doubt, another tough challenge ahead of them. Yeah, for sure. Um, I want to know a couple things right off the bat. Annie, that is Mickey, so just to be clear on that, uh, he's kind of, you know, just on an alt account for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> and then and then as far as uh, The Last of Us goes, they actually, this usually wouldn't be their five-man roster. They usually would have Meisty as well, uh, who is not here today. I don't know who he plays in place of, but they usually would have Meisty. So a little bit of a change up there for them. But anyways, that's the deal. We're already drafting here, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what the hell's happening. Kronos, Puppet Master, Sir Bensington, Moon Queen, coming out from Sink Esports. Drunken first pick in a Parasite, Torturer into a Wretched Hag. So, Moon Queen being banned out by Sink, that's, that's a little interesting to me. I yeah, saw we that saw that there. last time. Or maybe it wasn't unique as maybe it was when I was casting with Milkpad, but Plans Master used, usually bans Moon Queen. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we didn't see that at the, all in the series, the previous series, BMG versus The Last of Us, so... Sync just uh, doesn't want to have a chance of it happening, though, here, apparently. Um, yeah. We saw this last series here as well, and you being a jungler yourself, curious in your thoughts. Another, They value Parasite over, say, the Ophelia, who's still on the board. You, you, you think that makes sense? Mm, I guess. Now that the passive junglers have become a lot stronger, Solstice and Legionnaire, mm -hmm. Parasite kind of goes up in value as well, because he's pretty much the only one that can stop them, I think. Yeah strong against them so again what you got he is their jungler player he played jungle both those games in fact he tried the solstice the second game that's where it kind of didn't go so well for the whole team really but uh so we'll see where, where it maybe goes this time around he is right clicking that war beast but uh who knows who knows rhapsody third pick not too often you get rhapsody all the way to that third pick but sync esports i'm sure glad to have her but yeah, anything no coming out to you in this draft so far as far as either side no really standard picks yeah Nothing too crazy here. So the torture we had, we had a lot of discussion about him last series too. Again, it, it, this hero's been getting a lot of attention, a lot of first pick attention even. Uh, not not so much here. It happens to be the second pick, but still up there. We actually did see him last time though. BMG actually ended up running him as that short lane carry. It's been a while since we've seen that. Yeah, that's uh, really old school. Yeah, that's slicks and whatnot. What? Was the error changed at all in the patch? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think I can okay. recall. I don't believe he was so. If that was more of just a uh, why not? Why not? Hey, hey, he still has that diversity, being able to do so definitely. So just usually seen as more of that support, of course. Uh, in the end, but no, yeah, he didn't get touched uh, unlike some of the other heroes. So Devour gonna be the first ban, and now apparently we're gonna think about it. <laughs> Sink's gonna put some thought into it. There we go, Pestilence coming out. There's got so Hook heroes. They're gonna they are they're addressing the Mickey here. I don't know why they're banning all the hook heroes, though. They had two of the best uh, heroes in Drunken Master and Bubbles to put against hook heroes in lane, so mm. I don't see them as very weak against them. Yeah. So you think uh, this is a little bit unnecessary bans here. <laughs> yeah. Usually if you pick, like, a Pebbles or something, you want to ban out the hook heroes because he's super weak against them. Or not yeah. really weak, but it's vulnerable. Yeah. Get hooked into the tower. Well... They do take them out here, and, you know, with this route, you know, maybe even <laughs> Prisoner's going to be the last one, but there's a Tempest ban actually coming out from Sync, so I I don't know about that, because honestly, again, from looking at what you got history, and we saw last series, he ran a, uh, uh, he ran an Ophelia into a Solstice. I don't think he really has a whole lot of Tempest play, to be honest, so, uh, but they do ban out the Tempest nonetheless, and then Kraken coming out. 
of the final band for The Last of Us. So now where does yeah, Sink go? Yeah, if you look at what you got last played matches, he only has jungle heroes. Yeah. Well, Tempest game, though. Yep. So I feel like Sync's just banning out what they're more comfortable with in the end. You know, we kind of talked about this last series as well. The Last of Us, they have some recognizable players, but this is a newer team. So against these top dog teams, they might not have as much experience dealing with them in terms of what play style do they play, what heroes do they run. So I think Sync's just kind of going, you know, what they usually just ban here. Yeah, maybe, I think that's the reason Flans might ban out Moon Queen, because Moon Queen is a hero that's pretty easy to execute, to mm -hmm. be honest. Doesn't want to get cheesed, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Gemini being right clicked. It's actually been a long time since we've seen a Gemini, but I don't know. You think Gemini has potential, or would that be a little over the top? I haven't really seen him play it since Nerf. It was really popular for a while. Mm -hmm. Then they tuned down his passive, I think, a bit. Yeah. I believe they did. I haven't yeah. really seen him since then. Whoa. We are going to see him here. <laughs> they, they do end up going, and I honestly thought it was going to be more of like uh, they were thinking about maybe not, but no, they, they do go the Gemini. And I want to say Diglett does have experience playing Gemini. I think that's yeah, a comfort they, hero. Yeah, they played the Gemini during the qualifier as well. Okay. One of the games, I think. Okay. And they crushed with it. Yeah. It wasn't against a very good team, though, but... <laughs> Different story here. Yeah. Well... Maybe that, that's to, again, going back to the idea that Sync, they might not have a whole lot of history dealing with the Gemini, especially a good Gemini player, so that, that could definitely cause issues if you're not careful. Oh, is this going to be the Mickey Magnus again? <laughs> Probably. He had a really bad Magnus game last yeah. time I casted. Oh, was was that was that the last time we cast? We did. Uh... I don't know if it was then or when I casted with Milk Fat, but he missed like 50% of okay. his stuff. Okay, was that it? Was... it? Okay. <laughs> Not, not, nice. not the best hits. So oh, well, he's gonna get Hopefully a second chance here. A bit. Yeah. He's on an alt account. Different powers. Last pick. Okay, I was gonna say it's probably gonna be jungler again. This guy seems like that. That's just what he plays. His secondary support is very, very little. Uh, Ophelia. <laughs> Wait, this is, we saw last. They got Ophelia last pick last series too. I, I find that a little crazy. <laughs> Ophelia yeah. is being last picked. What has happened? It's an obvious jungler choice when. When Tempest is banned out as well, they can't really pick another core air because they already have three arrows that kind of want some form. Mm -hmm. And if you pick a Solstice into that, you just go way too greedy. Yeah. It's kind of interesting to see if Sync is going to play the Wretched Hag as a carry or a suicide now. Mm. It's going to be a carry hag. Man. You think so? Yeah. Well, obviously with that final pick, yeah, mm. Pharaoh coming out right there. Yep, yeah, they, they definitely run it one or the other, or can possibly, so. Uh, but the help on team is pure magic damage right now. <laughs> they literally have no physical damage whatsoever. You know, I, I kind of feel like the, the, the BMG, the Sync, they, they, they may do this against teams like, well, The Last of Us, where the lesser experience, they feel like they want to just take care of business and be done with it. They run yeah. these just aggressive lineups and really take it to them, so. I don't, I don't know if you have much history. Whenever you were matched up, say, in a matchup like this, where you guys were clearly the, the team to beat, I mean, w did you ever have that mindset, or did Swillman's ever have that mindset? Or? Uh, we, we had that mindset, but we had a different approach. We were more like Balfagor pickers than <laughs> push racks at 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, God, Balfagor, it's been a while since we've seen him. What is this? This is a weird Gemini skin. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it as well. <laughs> oh, we never really see this hero, but I've definitely never seen That is trippy, man. Wow. Okay, anyways, that is actually Gemini. You're uh, going towards the bottom lane again, ending up in the hands of Diggler, like I was saying. He does have a lot of experience playing him. Wait, maybe it's even on the TMM scene, but still. Uh, does have, as you mentioned, played in the qualifiers. Did very well. Yeah, we so. have Boots first and Parasite as well. So he's going to be okay. in this jung uh, Legion jungle. Yeah. We're going to see a clash here. Possibly. Gonna stare at each other at least. Well, uh, BMG did get a level 1 Bloodlust against uh, The Last of Us in the game number 2, and it was against Diglett actually, got caught out of position, so something tells me that's going to be on their mind too. <laughs> of like, alright, okay. let's make sure they not let that happen again. Oh, jeez. It's getting close, but no. Runkin is far away. Yeah. Nice run here now. Well, wow, Hag's going so yeah. aggressive. <laughs> They're getting auto attacks in, I mean... <laughs> 
Holy crap, look at they're going to turn back in actually. Magnus, he might need a chain of reactions coming out. There's a the line. Schmick is going to take a lot of damage right here. Oh, he's going to stun oh, on a Magnus. Man. Oh, the big stun missed though from Gemini. Shell Surf does connect. Here comes the hero block and auto attacks to follow. The team support is here. Will it save him in the end? Yes, it will. The heal's just enough to come out right there. Holy crap. I thought he was dead too, but nope. I'm pretty sure Nick Led could have gotten an ult attack off there, but it yeah. didn't. That was a big health bot. But they did use the health pot as well, so now it's short on regen on Magnus. Yeah. And that's a big deal if they plan to go aggressive, ULA. Just looks like they're trying to. He's not even going to go back to base, so he's going to be low on HP and he has one. <laughs> that is interesting. You see Rhapsody, okay. You guys are more excited. Yeah, so. Doesn't even go back to base. I mean, they're running, yeah, the aggressive pseudo trial in here, really. It's a little. Very uh, manly, though. Off the camp. Oh, that's that's a medium camp now. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things have changed, my ass. Things have changed. <laughs> as far as the jungle goes, so you got the perfect spawns as well. Vagabond in the big camp on Wild Hunters in the medium camp. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That that's the go-to on Parasite. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that in my game. <laughs> Those Wild Hunters, man. Early ganks, and so we'll see if he maybe looks to get that. Uh, that uh, but obviously torture. He is here. He's gonna actually block the minute spawn. Yeah, it's perfect. Good job of that. Gonna take some damage though with the process. <laughs> yeah, he's still stunned for level one in the clash there, so he doesn't have impalement. It's mm. gonna make life a bit harder for him. Uh oh. Are you gonna get him? No. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, Rhapsody just out of range right there, so it's gonna be fine. But again, Parasite taking it now, find himself. Harassing Ophelia does have the infest to take up the Vulture Lord as there you go. Takes it over. And, you know, how is it playing in the Ophelia you again? You've done, you've done this many times against a Parasite player It's in, who's being aggressive against you. Do you mind that? I mean, is it just kind of second nature now? Dealing uh, with it? To be honest, the jungle fight is in Ophelia's favor, but it's so close that in most cases it just comes down to the, the support battle. Yeah. What support has most presence in the jungle? Okay. It's a lot about positioning and warding and knowing where the enemy jungler is, etc. Yeah. Oh, and you see right there too, like the reactions of Ophelia, especially now that she can kill her creeps. Uh, on on use right there, so it kills the Vulture Lord off before Paris I could take it over. But he's like, I'll just take this other one. Jeez, a lot of Vulture Lord spawns coming out right here for uh, both the junglers. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that jungle situation, see how it continues to play out. But you see right now, Rhapsody actually running into Torturer, and as you mentioned, he went to stun, so he's not the most intimidating just yet. Uh, yeah. Without impalement. No, no, Hellborn has a really good posi position in the jungle, and they have the vision. Yeah. They're in a really good spot right now. It's going to be hard for Ophelia to catch up. How is the bottom lane going? Diglett's right now 10-1 and one on Gemini. You got Magnus at 11-5, and five actually, so... Yeah, Magnus having the advantage here, even with that uh, maybe a little bit of lack of regen. He currently doesn't have any regen on him, though. So we'll see if they can take advantage of that. But right now, the lane's going to be pushed up in his favor. Oh, Rhapsody is sniping the courier. Oh, no. No, oh, the invulnerability. Wow, somebody yeah, was on top. Yeah, somebody was on top of it. <laughs> and it's going to be fine. Ooh. That was so fast. Yeah, that was. I was waiting to see if it was going to happen, and sure enough, it did. Whoever, uh, whoever saw that, good job on their part. But when you're in the position the Legion team is right now in the bottom lane, I think you should, you kind of have to focus on either winning the lane or winning the jungle. Like, you, you can't try to win both. It's way too greedy. Oh, look at this. They're going right for torture. They don't even care about Gemini. But now they're going to turn on him, actually. And Diggle might be a little bit of trouble. Can he get the Twin Fangs off in time? He can. He stops on a Parasite action. The Chain Reactions also hits. But it doesn't matter. He comes out of the creep. Man, if that Chain Reactions actually hit the Parasite, as yeah, that came was what they were going for. He threw yeah. it out instantly because they know that New Devil is going to happen. But. Yep. That was close, but no cigar in the end. So, a uh, good setup right there. And yeah, Magnus is now level 5 as well. So, you think this this is to the fault of the support mainly, how he's, they've been kind of trying to do both the jungle and the, yeah. the lane? Yeah, I mean, the Magnus had one Blightstone on him. Like, they could have been, they could have zoned him out from that lane with the Torture. Yeah. But instead, the Torture tried to help Ophelia, and they lost that battle anyway, and I've lost both lane as well. Uh oh, now Ophelia, okay, well, <laughs> actually, it's Wild Hunter killed right there, Parasite getting credit for the kill, and then it just goes away. He already has full Ghost Marchers, man, that is dangerous, especially yeah. this early on. Ophelia actually has boots, though, so, oh, she's in trouble now, though. Mm -hmm. That's just curse, kinda. We do see Ophelia's gonna be jumped right here, yep, easy kill. Well, is it gonna come at a cost, though, Gemini, chasing down, but those out the twin breath. 
Doesn't have much follow-up, though. He does have Twin Fix. He's going to go in. Big stun on two. But don't know if it was worth it. <laughs> Gemini is going to fall right here. Tortoise dead as well now, right? Uh, yeah. I don't have anything left. Uh, he's going to be fine. Yeah, I think Diglett's like, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was a very uh, ballsy decision that didn't pay off at all. So he gets taken out. Well, the start is now looking very, very good for St. K Sports. Four of the top farmers in the game are belonging to their side. Uh, Bubbles is the only one that's doing so-so. He's 260 goal per minute, but even him, I mean, this middle matchup. Pharaoh's 28-1, and one, Bubbles 23-2. and two. Yeah. Rising, case he's having a slightly better time. Mm. I guess, since it's on US server. Oh, he's hooking mid now. Gonna go for the kill. Yeah, Bubbles here, he shell served. He knows this. Take cover's not gonna matter. That's that's just presence of mind, man. I mean, obviously he's played that uh, matchup many times. He's played bubbles before. <laughs> Clans Meister has insane form as well. It's like hovering about 350 GPM. Yeah, up there at the top. Yeah, he's owning Drunken Master as far as his lane positioning goes, so. Yeah, hate to say it, but it's looking pretty grim this early on even for The Last of Us the way this game is starting. So, I mean, Gemini definitely has potential to be a hard, hard carry, but, you know, with this kind of start, can't really expect a whole lot, at least uh, for now. I don't know. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of BKBs to fight the Hellborn team. Yeah. That goes back to the draft. Yeah, exactly what you're saying. This is, this is just all magic damage. Again, a very aggressive lineup. They just take it to you early on and do not let you even get in the game outside of the draft, so... It's kind of what's happening here. I, if this was you guys, if you were in the shoes of The Last of Us, what would you be saying right now to, to them as far as coming back? I mean, uh, I don't know. Come on, you I don't think captain. Oh, well, it's grim. I would probably move to Gemini or something. Like, Gemini is probably the only road to victory at this point. Yeah. Try to find farm for him somewhere. Just top lane, Can't maybe. Have the, the solo lane, just try to come and gank both lane. Yeah. I mean, Bubbles is level 6 now. So, that, I mean, that's the time. If you're ever afraid of the enemy team manning up on you with a Parasite when you have an Ophelia, you should buy extra wards and be ready to ward your own big camp. Mm -hmm. The one on the right side. And then just try to keep control of the left one. Because that one is really difficult for Parasite to get to in a safe manner. Yeah. Like, if it goes all the way in there, you get can easily get trapped by the mid hero. Oh, look at the bottom lane. Parasite, oh, he missed the Minotaur stun, actually, but it doesn't matter. Torture is going to easily fall. Trouble. Rhapsody, yeah, might be in trouble, though. He has twin fangs. He, will he, line? he doesn't even need it, actually. The tower actually doesn't have damage to help finish him off. So uh, we see right there, Gemini is now oh, going get... back and forth. The rocket will find him, though. The stun in. Here comes a shell surf. Though, Bubbles trying to help turn this around. Now Magnus is in trouble. Out comes a kill for the silence. He will it be enough for the kill. One more auto attack. Yes, it will. Gemini escapes with the twin fangs right there. And now Casey is a little too deep right here. Torture, he comes in. Gemini living on the outskirts. Uh, Pharaoh doesn't have anything more. He's just going to run with the Hellfire. He goes down. Diglett gets credit for the kill. Well, this is okay. Huge. This is big. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was Parasite, but it was just Felix Minotaur running around. Well, whatever you told them, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Google Sting. Yeah, exactly. No, this, this is, uh, I mean, that, obviously a lot of that has to do with Sink getting very almost cocky, I guess you could say, and just really dive in the yeah. tower, but hey, they'll take it. So now you have Gemini. He's, he's kind of recovered a little bit. So 280 gold per minute, but at the same time, though, I mean, I don't know. Do, do you th is he kind of a hero though that needs a lot of time to get impact for? Can he be of? of yeah, I mean, he does have level four into twin breath here. Oh, well, prior to the nerf, I played quite a lot of the Gemini. You can do a lot of work with just steam boots and energizer. Yeah, like his ultimate does an insane amount of damage. I think his burst is pretty much comparable to a Pebbles. It just jumps in, splits up, and does all his spells. Mm-hmm. It is pretty ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, we've definitely seen some fun things. We've seen the different kind of builds, too, just the stats build and everything. Uh, ooh, Magnus, he actually stuns out. He did not stun Drunken Master. Drunken's going to chase with a stagger. He already used lunge, though. And, yeah, it's not going to come up in time. He saw Torture coming out from the side, but Mickey just a little too slippery right there. And he, excuse me, he does survive. So gank attempt unsuccessful, but they're really protecting this Gemini now. <laughs> 
They have Ward aside, it's definitely uh, just outside of the lane for him. Four players are down here, including Drunken Master, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Last my series isn't putting more pressure on the top tower. Yeah. Yeah, Drunken obviously showed himself, so... It's not like it's, uh, it's a guess of where he's at. But instead, they're going to move to the middle lane. Kelfield is ready to go again. Maybe? Okay, yeah, they're going to go right here. Farrell gets jumped. Magnus looking at him in the background, though. He's channeling an eruption. No, but he gets oh, stopped by the Kelfield, and he jumps in on Bubbles and he gets the Magnus one ball. kill. Yeah, Magnus, huh? no, he's fine. Steam bath is good. He got a little, uh, <laughs> I think that, again, they're, they're playing this, this game of they're getting a little too over the top yeah. as far as thinking that they have things for free. That level 4 Ophelia didn't get an assist either. Poor thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his start. Has been a difficult one. And on the other hand, Slapped is level 7. He's already got the Blood Chalice to follow up with the Ghost Marchers. Looking good. But yeah, no, Bubbles, Bubbles, uh, his presence has definitely been felt. We mentioned he was level 6 using the Kelfield. He's now been involved yeah. in quite a bit of kills. Creams is definitely keeping them in this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do have the superior late game for the rest of the Yeah. They can get the TBs up on their cores. It's going to be really difficult for the Albon team to kill them. That is true. Again, going back to Gemini especially, it's, he is a very hard carry if you get him the time. And uh, he can do a lot of work. So you see a port up here to the top lane. It's going to be Bubbles, actually. No Kelfield, though. That's kind of important to note. Uh, I don't think they realize how many players are actually Oh, Pharaoh, he hit the creep. He was going in. Will that matter in the end? Maybe. Wretched Act does go down. Mummy Walls go up. They do get the counter kill on the torch. So right now, one for one. Big stunner from Mickey, though. Down goes Drunken Master. And Bubbles is now also take cover. Used right there on the Tormented Soul, but okay, he has a shell sir, but guess what? Parasite, no, he doesn't pour with it. He knows that that would have been instant death, probably. It doesn't matter, though. He does go down. So, hat trick coming up for support, actually. They Rhapsody. were so red for that. Yeah. Rhapsody was sitting in the trees next to the lane, just waiting for it. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised that they got the kill on Wretched Hag. I was like, maybe this is something, because it was set up to be a good fight for Sync, but nope. In the end, they get cleaned up. I will say that, I mean, that gave some more free time for Gemini to farm down here. Kind of distractions going on. He's, uh, he's working on an Energizer. That proved to be, obviously, very effective item pickup. You think that Shrunken Head, though, needs to come out as soon as possible, so pretty much after the Energizer? I don't know. There's a downside to buying the Shrunken Head early as well because of the duration decrease every time you use it. Yeah. Kind of depends on how long the game is going to be, but they probably need a shrunken head on him to be able to survive this game. Mm -hmm. Seems like, uh, again, it's just it speaks for itself against the somewhere lineup, what it could do for you. Uh, oh, Farrell's in a, in a tough spot between a rock and a hard place, really. He's going to take the chain reaction stun. Parasite's coming in, though, and now Ophelia's one. It's like, oh, crap, I'm in trouble. Bubbles in the background. A big song of the sea. Down goes Farrell right there. Then Kelfield comes out. Magnus, he stuns back in, though, right here oh, on, on Gemini. He gets a split up dogs, and they just melt right there when it's all said and done. Torture goes down. Ophelia goes down. Oh, jeez. I mean, Bubbles had decent timing, but it just wasn't to be. Drunken Master couldn't get there in time. And now they're chasing. Yeah, Flansmeister did so much damage with his bat plus there. Yeah. Yeah, he did uh, quite a right bit in Right place, right time. Exactly. So, Gemini, he finished the Energizer. It wasn't delivered to him just yet, though. Not that that would have made the biggest difference in that fight. but So, a couple of fights now where it seems like The Last of Us actually might be doing something big, but eh, all of a sudden, Sync turns it around, and the end result is, well, in their favor. So, uh... Early Light Brand of Flensmeister. He did go the Grave Lock at first, but he already has a, the Light Brand. As you mentioned earlier, 385 gold per minute. He is really farming like a boss. Middle lane? No. No action. Just having fun. Are you Are you uh, more and more... It seems like Puzzle Box is becoming more and more of a popular pickup on Parasites especially. You, you like that? That trend? Yeah. I really like Puzzle Box. Yeah. Over Codex especially, even? I mean... Depends from game to game. I think Codex is really, really good. Some games when you're like just free farming completely and get a couple of kills, you have like 400 GPM, and you can kill everything on the map with it. But yeah. if you don't have the best of games, Puzzle Box is definitely a better option for the late game. 
Let's see what uh, Zlap ultimately goes for here. Obviously, the Neophytes book could be one or the other. Yeah, I think he's going to get a Codex this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like that kind of game. That's true. Jeez, look at Rhapsody. Already has a freaking tablet on wow. top of the Ion Stone. Jeez, this is the only player that gets Ion Stone from what I can tell right now. <laughs> support, uh, support likes the Ion Stone. Do you have any thought on it, or have you not really tried it out enough? I haven't really tried it. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, it does seem like on, in, in on paper, it seems like it could be a very good tool, and it's very cheap too. Isn't it only like 300 gold? Yeah, only 300 gold. So doesn't provide many stats really in the end. Only some max health, and max mana, very minimal. But if you do that, rune control. We've seen pushes where you spread out double damage runes to like three different people. That's How much extra in. damage you get from the double damage in Iron Stone? It, it's not obviously a, the, the max. It's it's like I think it's like half. Okay. Like the extra damage for a shorter duration, if I'm not mistaken. But still, it's, it's a buff. Or guess they just TP top. See if they can set something up there. Yeah, they were they were going for it. There was actually initiation, but Bubbles did a pretty good job of avoiding right there in the end, as did Parasite and kind of back and forth. But this is going to be a top tower push now. And yeah, and they got the mid tower. Putting pressure like everywhere now. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Legion is trying to get both. That's two for one towers. Yeah. Not really what you want to get. <laughs> I mean, they'll probably take whatever they can now. Exactly. <laughs> you can't oh, get Rhapsody. Rhapsody is actually going to defend this, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're not even going to get it. Rhapsody. That ta well, she tabbed it in right there. She was looking to initiate, actually, the ballsy Rhapsody, but no, uh, no follow up. And now here comes a push yet again. Do they have TPs, really? They don't really have TPs. Wretched Hag and Parasite do, I guess, but... Yeah, they know Kiss's TPs on cool. Here comes PK. Oh, okay. Magmus, a big stun, that Portal Gi. Holy crap, Gemini is trying to get out. He should be fine. Yes, he will be fine. I mean, they got the tower, so they there you go. They did get the tower. <laughs> that was a big stun. The big initiation, though, from Mickey coming out. Was that the first time they saw the Portal Gi? I, I assume so. They probably so. wouldn't push like that otherwise. Yeah. I believe it was, definitely. So, big catch right there, and again, kind of that, that's, well, at least they got the tower, but at the same time, now it's pretty tremendous victory right there for Sync Esports in that fight. And now they're just going to get the push going. Parasite does go the codex, so yeah, kind of lean towards that. Seems like that kind of game for it. Codex picked up, but, you know, I'm trying to give hope here to The Last of Us, and again, you have a Gemini, 300 gold per minute. Their they're team doing a really good job right bad. now as well, split yeah. pushing. Trying to get some farm while the Hellborn team is grouped up. Yeah, that's true. But uh, middle lane, not going to happen, unfortunately. As Pharaoh ports in, and we'll stop any bit of push from happening. So, well, the top lane, though, they might still be able to get something up here, Drunken Master. <clears throat> He's still trying to work with it. They got some gold saved up, you know, 1,200 on Bubbles, 1,300 on Drunken now. If you're Drunken, you think the Soul's Bulwark? Priority here, or maybe a Shrunken himself. I'm not sure. I don't think Shrunken has the best option anymore. Like at this point, they're not going to be able to win a team fight for a long time. Yeah. So maybe they're better off just getting farming items and items they can split push with. I guess Bulwark is really good for that as well. So yeah. I'd probably get a Bulwark on Shrunken right now. Well, that's obviously you can come a little sooner here. Nearly half the cost compared to a shrunken head, so we'll see if uh, he is going to be going for that or not. Again, 1,200 gold on bubbles. I think the obvious is the portal key here for him. Getting that before uh, things get too out of hand. Grimoire is finished on full and on Wretched Axe, so not level 16 just yet, but oh, what happened middle lane? Slap gets a free kill apparently out of torture. <laughs> and then falls And back. he has the codex. Yep. Shows off that new toy. Torture feels uh, the brunt of that. Bubbles, he's invis here. Yeah. Try. Nicholas is currently static farming both. He's denying his own creep wave. I think he should just be pushing this out as much as he can all the yeah. time. I mean, they know where the Hellborn team is, so. Well, he's looks like they're gonna try to defend. <clears throat> I think they're just going to get completely run over here. I was going to say, so you think they should be, or just should they just nah. be giving up outer towers at this point? <laughs> well, uh, they ran all heroes there and they didn't do anything. Yeah, it's a waste. A waste of time and resources, so... 
That doesn't help the big picture. As you even said, Gemini ultimately coming back there too and not really doing too much. Could have been pushing that out. Hastrun on uh, the Ion Stone of Ra uh, Rhapsody, right? Only one charge left, but seeing that charged up. They also steal the Ancient, so yeah, just a lot of resource swing and Sink's favor. 13,000 plus gold lead, 11,000 plus experience lead. And now they're working towards top, it looks like. This Magnus is up here. Okay, they, Legion Team really wants to make something happen. Nope. Too quick with the Steam Bath. Yeah, Slap has placed the ward behind the tower there as well, so... Oh, yeah. Mickey could easily see what was coming from him. <laughs> yep, not much of a chance. That ward side was there. So, again, it's 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 a, it's a definitely a tough spot to be in for The Last of Us. It's been for the most of the early game for sure, but... It seems like they're getting a little too distracted sometimes. Trying to make things happen rather than just Sport. just farming. Yeah, Sport has a DD in his Iron Stone now. I think they're going to try to set up a combo. Because you okay. can pick up the same rune multiple times, right? Can you give like a DD to everyone on his team and then pick it, pick it up again? I I don't see why not. And that's what he's doing here. Yep. He's going to get a little that, damage. That looks balanced. And he goes back. <laughs> and he does it again. Wait a second. <laughs> That seems ridiculous. <laughs> okay, this place isn't everyone again. <laughs> gonna pick it up again. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh. Uh. Now, t okay. To be fair, it's only thirty percent extra damage, not a hundred percent. So it's not even yeah, half. Yeah. So it's 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 not like it's doing an amazing amount of extra damage, but still, that's a strong strategy right there. All right. Yeah, he can just keep using that. No one takes it even. Okay, we're gonna see a bottle. Okay, it's gonna bottle it now. Yeah. Gets has a bound eye as well, by the way, so they're giving him complete map control now. Oh, jeez. Yep, he is leading the way, in fact. He's not even worried about just running into the Legion jungle. I think I'm scared Bubbles is dumb, but... <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's funny for us, because we're like, just, dude, there's no one around you, what are you doing? Typical Americans. <laughs> just afraid of everything. Yeah, that must be it. That must be it. Uh, he, no, he, you know what? He's setting up a kill, that's what he's doing. Perhaps. This is, he's being this sneaky. Key. Oh, he doesn't have one. That he doesn't have. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Wretched Act did get the token of life, by the way. She's pushing out the top or bottom lane, even. Oh, he's going to try to solo that. Nah, he meant, though. <laughs> that would be a bad decision. Especially so close to the portal key. Whoa! Uh, Ice Brand picked up by Gemini. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought oh, the reaction no. was going to be. Worst item in game. Oh, Number initiation. one item. Yeah, Torture gets caught. Double damage, Pharaoh. He just jumps in. No, oh, feel this touch gonna save the day. And actually, Pharaoh, he might be regretting this. Mickey, the portal key went on cooldown. Or no, it yeah. didn't. There was it. It must. Yeah, have. Gemini okay. first breath. Then. Okay. Breath. So yeah, he, he went to PK, but obviously it didn't work. Well, so I mean, they got some ultimates to be used, I guess. Yeah. Everyone stayed alive. But I, I don't get it though. Ice Brand, really? Yeah. It's just... I mean, Dawnbringer's a hell of an item on this hero, no doubt, but is that is that what you need right now in a game where you're this far behind? Well, it's... Ice Brand is like the worst part to start with. It's not going to help them take team fights, definitely not. And yeah. it doesn't help him farm at all either. Yeah, I, I, I don't, like I was saying, it just seems like Shrunken Head. I will say, obviously, when you're split up, Shrunken Head doesn't do a whole lot for you, but. Nah, but using it, but still. Point of front can have this like you you jump in, you use it, and you just wait out through all those spells, and then you can split up afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Well, he goes the ice. But, brand. Uh, ice brand is ten strength for two point two k gold in split form, That's what and it really in normal yeah. form it's like yeah, ten strength. For it also slows. Yeah, but <laughs> not much. No, no. I obviously, I I agree with you. It's. I think it's it's kind of funny for how much I, whenever that item's picked, no matter what co-caster I have, it's always the same reaction, like a cringe, like, oh god, really? Why? Why did he do that? I find it, I still find it, but at the same, I find it that we still see it. Uh, I mean, every now and then, it's like, why are people doing it if everyone agrees that it sucks? Um, Wretched Hag, yeah. Him and Parasite just collapse on a bubbles. not much you could do right there. Hag might need to be a little careful. No, he's going to blink away, he should be fine. He also has a token, but oh, only yeah. a few minutes. Yeah, that change. Let's see if he gets to use it. I we we've definitely been seeing that change, man. It, it's it's noticeable. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes less. 
Thus, he only has a minute 40 remaining. Look at the split push, though, from Sink. Jeez. They are pushing the bottom lane in. Bubble's obviously dead right now, so they don't have his initiation to work with, so it's understandable that they really aren't comfortable looking to jump. So they're just going to give up the top tower. They, they do push back the bottom lane, at least. Yeah. Sink sees the ice brand on Gemini and just falls back instantly. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been it. Here comes a fire and ice split up right here. Oh, is he gonna do the split farming now? 25 minutes into the game yeah. against the Parasite? Oh yeah, he's uh... gonna get so much experience. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that, that is true too. That's obviously a huge benefit of a hero like Gemini, being able to split farm. I guess pretty good, but yeah, 25 minutes in and... Hey, it's, it's better late than never. He really, again, the whole circumstance, it's <laughs> not like it's been his fault necessarily. It's been like this. Yeah, look, just... look at split pushing top though. That's insane. He's gonna yeah. get level 16 in no time. Yeah, he's got this. Um, Shrunkenhead is finished on Drunken Master, so again, a big pick up there. Yes. Got mitigation coming out. Paris, I got a portal key. Some extra good jump right there. Here we go, though! Oh. Drunken Master jumps in, Wretched Egg is gonna drop. Token alive, but Magnus comes out with a huge eruption yet again. The Ice of Fire Dog, they get caught in the Mummy Walls, are trying to regroup, it looks like. The Hellfire is just doing too much work, though. Bat Blast also just... Puts them down. I can't believe they fell for that token bait. Yeah. <laughs> he literally just walked into the base. He didn't use any spells. He didn't auto that. He just walked right at them. It was too <laughs> good to be true. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> too good to be true. Yeah. It's and again, those are things. It's like it's like The Last of Us as a team. They are they are less experienced than the others, and that's no doubt one of those situations right there. Where it's like okay, well, we'll probably remember that next time. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, no, but yeah, Sink Esports, hey, they had control of that whole game. There's no doubt in that, uh, really, from the beginning. Hey, they almost got Bloodlust to remember with Magnus almost getting killed, but it seems support came out. And yeah. But I think a lot of it, that bottom lane, though, had a lot to do with how the game went. Well, I actually think them not getting Bloodlust was good for them because Magnus ended up using all his regen. He didn't get back to base. He didn't.